Hello. Hey, garlic. Ready for some cute animals? Hell yeah. I am ready. I'm ready for some cute animals. I'm ready to talk and rant a little bit about Pixar. I was just talking about this in Dave's chat. And I'm, I want, I'm not done talking about it. Um, how are you? You've been on Twitch so much lately. Are we going to be blessed with a garlic stream soon? Perhaps. 28%. I can't believe we're like, we're 13 hours into the game and we're 28% done. I, all right. I am not going to diss this game. I love this game so far. I have a hunch that I'm going to feel like it's too long by the time we get to the end. We'll see. We'll see. I'm loving it so far. I can just, I can see it starting to get tedious with all the running around and stuff, but we'll see. I don't know yet. I'm just making a prediction. Told yourself no streaming until a job. Fair enough. That's a, that's a good, like, self-regulation. But yeah. Oh, the tea. I'll dive in. I'll probably talk about, talk about this a couple times throughout the stream, but, um... Have you seen Coco? Are we currently navigating? We're trying to get here. Okay. Coco is like, in my opinion, um, the one of the strongest Pixar stories ever. Like, it talks about really intense topics uh, and, and discusses death. I'm going to try to avoid like major spoilers in case anyone in the chat hasn't seen it, uh, because I think it's absolutely worth watching like for the first time. Um, the uh, like dealing with, you know, M Mexican culture, um, Day of the Dead, they did a phenomenal job with it, I think. The issue with this movie, and I'm very sorry, because there's there is a small chance that learning this information will ruin the movie for you. And I am sorry in advance. Um, but um, the character of Mama Coco, the name of the movie, for anyone who, who may not know, she is a elderly woman with dementia um, that the story is is kind of kind of revolves around her a little bit. Um, and the writers, you know, you know exactly what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah, uh, the writers um, went down to her village. Uh, and studied her, researched her, um, uh, interviewed her and stuff. I don't know how long they were down there for. Um, but they asked after, when they were about to leave if they could use her likeness in the movie. And she said no. Uh, so, of course, they left and then did exactly that anyways. They just used her like likeness. Um, they based her village... Uh, off of the village like in the movie you know they they totally just r ripped off that aspect of her life and gave her no credit and then when she came forward about it they denied ever having gone to the village ever being involved whatsoever with this woman and now people show up at her house and greet her as mama coco because that's how she's referred to in the movie and she's like i'm not mama coco that's not my name and it's like all she's done since then is try to get credit and recognition um, for, you know, her and her family being in the movie. And Disney, like, just won't do it. It's like, it, yeah, it's so it's so shitty. Like, way to just, like, make a wonderful movie about this culture and then steal from the culture. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, they, like, they didn't even send her a check. Like, she didn't even ask for money. She just wanted, like, she just wanted to, to be recognized. Like, at that point, after she had been denied and then had that disrespected. Ah, 
so that's my my uh my current rant of the day um which i made my question of the day um exclu or for for um which pixar movie is your favorite but i don't think that's what my question of the day should have been i think my question of the day should have been have you ever learned something about a beloved piece of media that ruined it for you because i feel like a lot of people are experiencing that right now with blizzard um where people are like i don't know if i um want want to buy the next big blizzard title because i don't want to support an industry that you're or you know a company that that did these things but it leads into a bigger tangent which i'll get to momentarily all right let's go shopping peanut hopefully the chocolate uh still has hope this shop still has the chocolate box we're looking for <laughs> he just fell um so a lot of people have talked about how they want to boycott Blizzard because of the lawsuit and, and all of the information that's come forward about Blizzard. Um, and I super duper respect that. I absolutely think that if that is something that you uh, want to do and you feel like is important to you makes a difference, absolutely do it. Um, as I've kind of sat with it, because I, I clearly, I had a huge rant about the Blizzard lawsuit. I absolutely think that they are, that, that, that whole situation was, uh, just unconscionable. It was horrible. Horrible. Uh, so just to get that out of the way. Um, regarding buying games going forward from Blizzard... I don't think that it should be on the consumer to make things right at a company scale is kind of my takeaway. Trying to think uh, of a franchise that that's happened to for you because it's happened for specific actors. Oh yeah, oh definitely. Individual actors or even like movie producers, directors. I, it's way more common I think in the movie industry than like games. Um, yeah, like, certain actors that you just, like, can't watch anymore. Um, but the big comparison that I have for, uh, Blizzard and how, like, I don't think people should feel super guilty if they decide they want to get a game made by the company going forward is, um, something like recycling. So I, I made this connection earlier. Uh, I think recycling is a huge scam. Um, and I'm talking very generally, like I know there's a lot more nuance to this topic and conversation and, and all of that, but I'm kind of speaking generally just for the sake of keeping things concise. So uh, recycling is a really clever way that, that the government or actually probably companies, you know, that that um, that sort of put these policies into place to handle recycling um, to make it think that the consumer is responsible for things like global warming and pollution when actually it's these huge companies that are contributing like 90% of carbon emissions, right? Um, but if we make the consumers think it's their fault and if they sort their recycling, it'll fix everything, then uh, then we don't have to worry about it. We don't have to change our behavior at all. Um, recycling is a huge scam. Oh, garlic, I'm so glad you agree. 70% doesn't even get recycled. And that's another thing. That's like a whole different argument, right? Like that's a whole other thing about why I hate recycling. So like I still do it, obviously. Like I, it's not gonna hurt. It doesn't take any additional effort out of my day to just put the cardboard in a different bin. Like <laughs> that's not a inconvenience to me. I should play the game. I've just been talking, hold on. All right, go take a look. They should have it here. Get the nice, uh, get the nicest chocolate box you see. Not the cheap stuff. I'm back in business. I got a brand new shipment recently. These things are looking up for old Theodore. 
Go ahead, take a look. Yep, I'll buy it. 30,000 seed sampler pack. Oh my god. Is there anything I can sell? Uh... There's not even a lot that I have, like, a whole bunch of. Oh, tea kind of sells for a lot. How much tea do I even need? How does tea sell for 400? This is the most, like, divine cup of tea. What is this? This is a single origin oolong that's grown in the Taiwanese mountains. This is a high mountain oolong. It's called a rock oolong. Um, I used to work at a tea shop. I'm spinning so much truth, we're only 15 minutes in. <laughs> Can't pick a fake Pixar movie. I'm like struggling to now. When I was like, I was like, I don't even know what it is anymore. Um, I guess I'll sell a little quartz. Sure. I, I just, I need money now. Like, I'm realizing. I have 78 of these. I probably don't need all of them. Go down to like 30. You know what? 25. Sell a couple of those too. I don't know if I need them for anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, I watched a documentary on Netflix um, that was called Broken. I've talked about it a couple of times on stream. It's like, if you want to feel bad about things, definitely go watch it. But it has an episode, it's a series, has an episode about recycling and specifically talks about how recycling gets dumped onto poor developing countries that can't handle it and can't process it. Um, and it actually, like, ruins their environment and makes people sick. And it's, like, a huge, huge issue that we just ignore because it's, like, someone else's problem. Um, and I was, I actually started to wonder if I'm doing a disservice by putting recycling into the, into the recycling. I was like, is it actually better if I put it into the trash and it goes into a landfill? Like, but then does it even go into a landfill? Does it just get dumped in the ocean? I can't win! <laughs> We 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 can't do anything. We're screwed. <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, gar, gar, we are fucked as the human race. I I don't know. There's only so much worrying that we can do as individuals, you know. At some point we have to just be like we're doing our best. We're doing our best. Can't do everything. I think my favorite Pixar though, circling back around. Um I think it might be Luca, the new one. Beautiful, Babina. Haha, I knew I could count on you. You're terrific. Uh, you know that? Marvelous, exceptional, admirable. We don't deserve you. Nope, no one does. Okay, let's pack up, guys. We don't deserve Stella one bit. <laughs> you wonderful little peanut. All right, now give it to me, please. I don't know if it's, like, intentional or not, or, or like, if I should be doing this, but I never give anything to the spirits. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Am I blind? Ah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, yes, she'll love it so much. I'll hold on to it. Let's head back to the boat. You were gonna say Luca? Luca is just like so fucking queer, I love it. It's just like, pl yes, please give me like a gay coming of age Pixar movie. I, I need that. Um, the only good thing to do is just constantly use glass and bags as we, um, uh, uh, yeah, reuse and rewash. Yeah. I try to like avoid. Like, if, if I go to the grocery store and directly next to the bag of green beans, there are loose green beans that are tied 
I'll get the loose ones, right? I'll just try to avoid getting that extra plastic. But also, like, again, I try not to hold too much blame for myself because when more than half of the products in the grocery store are wrapped in plastic, it's really difficult to avoid those things. And it's also a little bit... Um, a little bit of like a classist issue because if you don't have enough money to get the fresh produce and you have to get the canned produce like you it, it's it's just you know it's it's it becomes a privilege thing um so i try to not beat myself up about it too much and i try not to beat other people up about it too much i think like just being aware is the important part um and we have to kind of rely on lawmakers to actually do the, do the, do the needful. Also, I know that there's some stuff that I couldn't get to, and I'm wondering if I can get to it now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so close. What? Are you joking? Oh, yeah, all right. Yes, made it. That was satisfying. <gasps> There's more. There's more we can explore here. Can't pick the newest one. No, I think that I really do think that Luca was one of the best ones. I mean, I love some of the classics too, like, um, up was excellent um it the incredibles is also up there i i'd say the incredibles is tied with luca i loved the like political statements that the incredibles made i thought that that was really good um what i love about it is that it's also not gay like subtly is there and you can make it gay but at the end of the day it's just about pure friendship. That's also very true. Yeah, you can definitely take it that direction if you want to, but but like you said, you definitely don't have to. Um Oh. But I can't do this yet. I don't have the I don't have the bounce ability. Gonna eat two steaks tonight. I love these guys. I loved this whole storyline. I thought this was really cute. Break down the establishment, demand a raise. Finding Nemo is a perfect film. I think that, like, Finding Nemo said a lot of really important stories about. Or, or, or told a really important story about um, uh, about love and protection, but also obsession a little bit. Um, uh, uh, where there's no denying that Marlin was overly protective, and I, I liked how they really didn't shy away from just having it be a rescue story, they they took it a step further. And they were like, this is a rescue story, but it's also a story about trauma and reaction to trauma and projecting that trauma onto someone else. Um, I agree, it was a very strong film. Pixar across the board usually is just like always amazing. There were a couple films that I thought were weaker. Um, uh, the, there was another new one recently. It was the one before Luca, and it was a, it was, uh, I forget what it was called. No, not Soul. Soul was also great. I almost forgot about Soul. Um... Uh, Onward Bound? O or just Onward? Was that it? I think it was Onward. Oh, no! 
<laughs> I didn't like it as much. I, I It didn't ring for me very, very strongly. I thought it was good, but it didn't feel like a Pixar movie to me. It felt more like a, Di just like a Disney movie. I was like, this is on the same, the same like level as like Frozen or Tangled or something. Whereas all the other Pixars are like a step above that to me. I am an only child and that might have something to do with it. I didn't resonate with the sibling dynamic whatsoever. It, it doesn't, I, I don't get it. <laughs> There it is. <laughs> You're like, I know what the problem is here. Oh yeah, selling everything. Man, maybe I should give it another watch and just try to like really try to empathize uh, with the sibling stuff. Because I remember thinking it was moving. I just didn't think it was like as moving as, as any of the others. But I think also having Onward follow up Coco, um, I was expecting a certain like uh, deep level to the story that I just don't think Onward totally got to, where where Coco was dealing with death and Day of the Dead and these strong cultural themes, um, and then Onward was much more of a, a fantasy story that I, that I enjoyed. Don't get me wrong. Unpopular opinion, but you weren't super moved by Coco. Um... It just the 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 um, the concepts of death or how they handled it just like didn't quite resonate with you because I cried like multiple times during that movie. <laughs> that was my cry movie. I remember watching it for the first time and I was like with my uh, with my uh, ex at the time and they like looked over at me at the end of the movie and I just had tears like completely streaming down my face. Like I had been trying to suppress it and I just like couldn't do it. And they, and they looked over and they're like, oh, oh, are you okay? I was like, mm -mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, I want to talk about it. <laughs> I wasn't compelled to watch it again. I mean, fair enough. Everybody, like, is gonna have their own, um, topics and, like, subjects that, that is gonna ring for them better than others, like. Didn't think it was bad, just not one of your faves. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, you're not hungry. I like that I have learned uh, when they want to talk, I should probably just feed them. It just saves me a little bit of clicking. Already had this recently. Found my weak spot again. This complex and exhilarating blend of flavors. Yes, exotic delicacies are just my taste. Oh yes, quite good. Quite good indeed. Oh, I love the owl. Little one, are you also- Everybody's hungry. I guess it's breakfast. I was thinking, just a chocolate box is nearly not enough for a lady of this caliber. But I know exactly what- to comp uh, what could complement this gift. A bouquet of flowers, vibrant, luscious roses, and I know where to pick some up. Aw, Auburnton Park. Don't worry, I'll show you once we're there. It's a great idea, huh? It's definitely a great idea. And again, not a word. She'll be completely surprised. Are you hungry? Yeah. Would you like some coffee? Yowza! That's one hell of a kicker. I'm shaking. Stimulants all the way, Babina. Delicious and wakes you up for real.
a lot of people say Inside Out was a weak one, but it had you all up in your feels. Okay, all right, all right. Inside Out. Uh, let, me, let me sit up. Um, I think that Inside Out is one of the most important movies that they've made. So, like, I'm talking a lot about, like, this is the best movie, this is the most cinematic movie, this is, like, you know, this is the most, like, culturally significant. All right. I think that Inside Out is one of the most important movies for uh, a young audience, specifically. I mean, anyone can really, like, benefit to it, but I've never seen a movie discuss mental health and depression for children and like it visualized it in such an amazing way that kids can understand and then communicate to people like that's so cool so cool i thought that like the actual inner workings of like uh joy like the the middle part of the movie where where she's trying to get back to the head office whatever you want to call it headquarters when she's trying to get back to headquarters i thought that that dragged a little bit it was very good but like that was probably my least part, favorite part of the movie when rewatching it all of the other stuff her at headquarters and um and I forget the kid's name, but the the, the kid uh, actually her interactions at school and her making the decisions and all of that. I thought that that was very very strong. One of the most helpful things your therapist told you was that you can and are allowed to feel more than one emotion at once, and they're all valid. And that movie encapsulates that so well. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, I just, like, just I, finding whatever tool you can find to help you think about your feelings in a new context, um, is, I think that is always beneficial and, and, and valuable to your overall happiness. Um, uh, let's do the iron. I don't have as much as that, I guess. See you later. Found something you might like, perhaps. Here's a gift for my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. I like that this owl just gives me things that I can sell. I appreciate that very much. I Yeah, I think that, like, another really valuable tool, which I've seen... I've seen some games kind of touch on it. I think Celeste touches on it. Um, and I've seen other games do little variations of it, but um, like games dealing or games discussing anxiety and meditation and how meditation is not just trying to like empty your brain, but it's actually trying to just like let your brain flow. And, and I, I use that, I use meditation time to think about things from other perspectives. I try to like remove myself from whatever it is that I'm feeling and view it from an objective perspective. It's hard, but sometimes, sometimes it helps. Also, hello, Pika, how are you? Welcome in. You played this game. How did you like it? We're talking about Pixar and specifically it's kind of morphing into talking about media as a tool for discussing difficult topics like death and mental health and therapy and 
and all these things, specifically Pixar. But the, uh, the question of the day today, if you are curious, is what your favorite Pixar movie is. Where am I supposed to go right now? Oh my god, I have to go so far, and I don't think I can go there yet. I don't think I, I have this rock-breaking ability. I forget what I need for that. Let's check really quick. You didn't finish it? It seems like it's a really long game. I didn't think it was. Breakthrough rocks. Oh, we need marble, we need fire glow, we need spirit flower, we don't have that. We need aluminum ingots. Okay, okay. I don't know what the spirit flowers are, though. I guess we should go check out some of these new islands. We can't go to this one. I feel like we've been here, but I guess not. We'll start making our way over there. Uh, because I think we're gonna- I think we just ha we have to. That's just how- how it goes. Um... Let's go to this one. We'll make some stops along the way. It was fun and chill in the beginning and then got bored of it because it got stuck at a certain point. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I was saying when, right when I started the stream that I feel like I can anticipate this game getting tedious. Um, but we'll see. I'm still very much enjoying it right now, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen. And I, if I'm not looking for it, it's less likely to happen. It's 30 hours long. Yeah, I'm about... What was it? 13 hours in? Something like that? But I'm only like 20% uh, through the game. <laughs> but that could also be like for completing the game 100%, which I'm definitely not going to do. I'm not a completionist when it comes to games. But how are you? What have you been up to today? I am very determined to get all of the fish. I'm I'm almost getting Animal Crossing vibes with this game. I don't know if anyone else feels that, but I maybe it's the fishing. Doing great just chilling, hell yeah. This game is so nice for just like relaxing. I'm not sure what I'm going to play after this, though. Uh, what I do need to do is... Um, uh, I need to schedule my makeup stream. I think I'm going to do that this coming weekend, probably on Saturday. Yeah, I'll probably do Saturday evening for that. You're streaming some Pokemon Unite? Nice. How'd it go? Could see that with the different tasks and stuff. Yeah, it was like the lightning and things was like fun the first time I, I did it. And then the second time I did it, it was also fun. And then the seventh and eighth time that I did it, it was like, uh, do I really need to? But then when the answer is no, it's like, ah, damn it. When the answer is no, I don't need to, then it's like a thing that you have to go and manually, like, deselect. It was great until your internet got disconnected. No! Oh, I'm so sorry. That's the worst. Oh, that's the absolute worst. That happened to me last week. Um when I was streaming this, actually, my internet just, like, clicked on and off. And, um... Uh, uh, I, I streamed for another, like, half an hour or 45 minutes or something, and then I ended it. I was so disappointed.
But yeah, it sucks for the view count too because if like if you have like a, a handful of lurkers but they're AFK, um, uh, um, they have to refresh the stream to to lurk again. So if if they're not at their computer, or they're on a different tab or whatever, um, that person might just not notice. But it happens. Only so much you can do. Oh, I am so stiff. I've been working out a lot. I went from, like, working out maybe once a week to, uh... Every other day, if not if not a couple times, <laughs> or uh, uh, not several days in a row is what I meant. A stretch. Oh, ready? Just all the cracks. Snap, crackle, pop. Oh, my light's all messed up. Yeah, it is good. I, um... It's funny, KY keeps asking me, he's like, you went climbing again today? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, are you doing all right? <laughs> like, definitely worried I'm going to injure myself. And I'm like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just like, don't ever discourage me from working out. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> but like my hands, though. Oh, my God. My, my hands are getting all torn up. Keep it up. I plan to. Thank you for the stretch, Garlic. Wait, why are you sad? Hit right. Uh, uh, stop, stop talking. Oh my god, I'm gonna miss it. I was just trying to cheer you up. enjoying it why not just don't push yourself yeah yeah exactly like i um uh the days that i'm going like a couple days in a row i'm only there for maybe an hour or so which is or, or an hour and a half maybe which is only 45 minutes of like active climbing because you have to rest between each climb um probably even less it's probably like half and a half um but the the interesting thing with climbing, anyways, for me as a newbie, is that uh, because I did other dance, my overall fitness level is higher than my grip strength. So if I climb for, uh, you know, an hour, my forearms and my hands are, like torn up they're i mean they're they hurt you know i can't hang on to the wall anymore but my like the rest of me feels fine like i could i could definitely keep going or like go do some squats or whatever um so that's why i feel like i can just like go back the next day and like be totally okay but it's still important to rest because i also don't want to like injure my arms but I've got like some good callus building up. I've, I, I actually feel like I, I can see a bicep now. <laughs> it's, it's happening. I'm gonna have to do the flex redeem, like orc. <laughs> I just, I just wanna be swole like orc. You know you're special, don't you? Oh, yes, you do. And if you don't, shame on you. Mm -hmm. I like this guy. Just look at you running around, taking care of them, taking care of me. I hope they're all grateful to you. Point me to one of them who's not, and I will have a little discussion with them. 
But no, really, Peanut, you've got to be proud of yourself and what you're doing here. You're killing it. Heavens, that's funny. Wait, that was it? Would you like some food? What do you want? Poached fruit? Hungry like a... You don't have to say the pun twice. <laughs> they say they say the pun like every time you feed them. <laughs> Damn guns! <laughs> swole as fuck. That's the goal. That's the goal. I just want to be. I just want to be swole like orc. Say his name and he's summoned. <laughs> orc, orc, look. Look, look, I'm getting, I'm getting strong. You can see it. It's there. There is bicep here. I got a little definition. It's happening. It's happening. We're gonna have a swole redeem on my chat. <laughs> Swoller than you? No way. No way. Nah. <laughs> listen, listen. You don't, you don't have to. You don't have to lie to me. Me these apples. Orc, what's your favorite Pixar movie? This is important. Oh, I got mail. Oh shit, we got we got mail in the mailbox. Only seen a few soul. Soul was very good. I really liked it. So, so I, I take it you're not like, not Pixar obsessive then, like like some of us. Drama. Oh, bacon and eggs. A little pork to go with some eggs. There's a, there's something there. Smurfy, hey, how's it going? Good to see you. Oh God, yeah, Orc, you, you have to watch Luca. Luca is so, so good. I was so impressed with it. Like I had high expectations and it exceeded them. You haven't been in here before? I feel like you have. Maybe I'm just misremembering. Well, welcome in regardless. Brave Little Toaster, that's not a Pixar movie. Watched it three times in one week. I, I think I watched it twice the week that I saw it, yeah. Brave Little, it, it is? Brave Little Toaster is a Pixar movie? Are we, are we, we're, we're traveling, I. Oh, I see what you're saying. It was pre-Pixar. I getcha. That's cool, I didn't even know that. I, uh, I haven't, I, I know, I've watched the documentary about Pixar and kind of like the forming of the company, but I have no idea what the animators were doing pre-Pixar. I guess I'll have to check it out. It's gotta be old as fuck now, though. It's It's gotta look real dated, unless it's animated or like hand-drawn. Pika, thank you so much for the lurk. Have a good night. John Lasseter. Oh, got it. I learned something new every day. That's very cool. 
I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Garlic. Garlic summed it up with an emote. I'm like... Mm -hmm. Just give me this fish. I just need... I need the fish. Oh no, Pika. Feel better. I hope it's nothing. Where are we? Ah, yes. Be a deer. You know, it would be nice. Something. Oh, God. All right. Always hungry. No, thanks. Fine dining. Plain dishes. I, I just, I don't know. I like just giving them a, uh, a bowl of just unspiced white rice. Just plain rice. Iron Giant is definitely not Pixar, though. Smurfy really doesn't want to name a Pixar movie. <laughs> oh god, Pika. <laughs> I take that back. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Lurking now for real. <laughs> to save face. <laughs> Good luck. Godspeed. <laughs> aluminum. We need a lot more aluminum. I wonder if we'll, like, have just barely enough to get what we need, though. Let's do some more marble. Yeah, I'm all set. See you later. <laughs> Orc. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, it's the worst. Man. I will say, I love my my septum piercing, but having one that, like, has a certain direction to it is very inconvenient, because anytime you touch your nose, you have to make sure that it is, like, aligned correctly. It's a bit of a pain. Carrots. It's in the internet now. It's never going away. That's what they tell me, but then Twitch deletes all my VODs. I have to download them or record them and then upload them to YouTube, so then they're really here forever. Have a great stream. Thank you so much. Garrus, I hope you're having a wonderful evening. Here we go. Almost there. Orc, how are you today? How was your day? I didn't ask. I hadn't asked yet. That's the important, important distinction. work treating you okay oh let's cook big day tomorrow I hope it goes well we still don't have like chicken or anything what's like a new let's see if there's a rest well I guess I might as well make the the chicken or the uh hold on 
I want to look at the recipes. I'm wondering if this tells you if you haven't made it yet. That's my question. Oh, it definitely doesn't, because I've never made the pie. Flower and a berry. Lobster and flower. I really need to get, like, a flour mill. Wonton soup I also don't think we've made. Pork and egg. Let's just, let's do that. Uh, doing a live Q&A. Hosting a live Q&A for players. Dang, is that gonna be, like, on Discord? The work, work Discord. That's really cool, though. I ha I know that I, like, there's only s so much I can, uh, I can say or ask about it. Because work stuff, but... I can answer that if I like. Regarding, um, if it's, if I can tell the recipes if I've made them or not, sure, I, I would, uh, I'd welcome that answer. Um... I answer dad's birthday tomorrow, so you gotta wake up early, get him some pastries and baked goods. Oh, man. Yeah, big day. Big day. Through Discord. Cool. I was wondering if it was gonna be, like, on Twitch or something. That was my only... I was like, is it Twitch or Discord? But Discord makes more sense. It doesn't tell you if you've made it. Um, it should. Great quality of life thing for those 100 percenters. Yeah, that would be really nice. But, alas... Oh, madame, you've got that face. Larry Stoltzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I imagine your voice, and I hate it. <laughs> but we can fix that in post. Uh, we'll get one of those girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't, uh, do vaudeville? I don't know if I'm saying that right. You've never been with uh, Ziegfeld? Ziegfeld? Nothing for those French shepherdess she shepherdresses? Uh, or whatever it's called? I'm sorry I'm butchering these, by the way. That's impressive. Uh, you would have been perfect. But if that's true, you're pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It'll be called something like... Visions of perfection. A thriller. Murder. Suspense. Something to get the blood boiling. Something to make the town talk. Talking to my... Talking about my young new star. It'll be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yeah. I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Stoltzberg. Said it right. Vaud I said vaudeville, right? Vaudeville was like sideshow acts. Got it. Originally a comedy, psychological or moral intentions, based on a comical situation, a dramatic composition, or light poetry, uh, interspersed with songs or ballads. That's cool. That's really neat. No, a community is not made uh, not made for Twitch. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Orc? Fair enough. I hadn't really thought about that, but you're you're right. <laughs> uh, not all gaming communities are made equally, y'all. Um, uh, da 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 da. -da. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon about her new bow. Somewhere warm. It doesn't matter. Somewhere, uh, or what does matter is the picture I just thought about in the last five mm. minutes. I do need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. This town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joan is filming that daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Mm. Judy is off somewhere magical. We'll need to find someone with... Gupton. Gravit Gra Gravitas? I'm sorry, you guys. 
I'm slowly getting better. I've said this a couple of times, but these games are making me better at reading. <laughs> it's, it's happening slowly, but it's happening. Um, there's this veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently, she's been taking in more nature recently. Somewhere on Obscure Canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I just had another idea. We could also go the demure, uh, nave route. Someone like Ingrid. She could also do justice to our new movie. She just bought a new place in Old Central District. You could go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Casting movies. What a rush. All right. I'll leave you to your, uh, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. This game dialogue is a bit wild with its vocab. It definitely is. I think it's very good though. Um First time you've seen acet acetism? As acet there's no r there. Acetizium. There we go. In a while, Susan the Collector says it when you first meet her. I That's definitely a word that like I tried to say and probably did what I just did now. And I was like, I'm not sure if I know what that means. I don't know if I've ever seen that word before. Acetism. Acetism. Yeah. Um... The other word that, like, reminded me exists is unconscionable. I, like, I forgot that that word was a word. Because I had just, like, never seen it anywhere for so long. How do I get up there? Let me up. Let me up. <laughs> Ass and titties? <laughs> Aha! Aha! Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what was it? I'm the big fish man or something like that. He's so loud. It's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fella doesn't even, doesn't seem to know how to swim. I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. I came with the early bird swimmer. Favorite new vocab word this year comes from elsewhere. Vociferous. Vociferous means to be loud and annoying. Vocifer- Oh, yeah, no, I've, I've heard that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I've definitely heard that word before. But I have never, like, seen it written. I feel like I heard it in a show or something. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm getting so many collectibles here. Please let me in. God damn it. What is up here? Excuse? Excuse me? Ex ex excuse me. Let me. Uh, uh, what do I do? It sounds like a title you'll be glad to have until you learned what it meant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a funny story. Um, if. I, I don't know. If I was more self-conscious, I would probably be embarrassed of this story, but um, when I was in high school, like freshman year of high school, I um... Uh, so I just like was realizing where we were going and now I'm just like very curious if I'm going to be able to get anywhere. What? What's this? I need the I need the fishing line or whatever this swinging ability is. Um, so when I was in high school, uh, freshman year, I remember someone called me vapid. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, for, for, like, it took me, I, I had, they said it about me to another group of people. And then someone like told me and I like looked up what it was and I was like, really? Do they know what it means? I, I don't know, because I, like, 
at that time, I had like a lot of hobbies. There was a lot of like stuff going on. I felt like it just didn't quite fit. And so I've always remembered that word. And I, I think I was also just like reacting to being insulted. You know, I was like, that's not me. <laughs> I'm not vapid. What? Um, but that word always stuck with me. It was like, uh, even though it's like, it never really comes up. It was, it was one of those weird words that I think about. Uh, so I don't think I can do anything else here yet. We'll come back. Need some water. High school was a weird time, you guys. Like, the, the crazy clicks and just dis disliking people because other people disliked them or or whatever it's a weird time what do we got on the boat i will show you this is our boat as it stands. We've got one more upgrade for ship size. And then let's see, I wanna check again. Travel through rocks. Okay, so we still need the aluminum ingots. We need marble. We need the spirit flower, which we don't know what that is. So we just have to explore for that. The aluminum we're gonna get when we come back here later. Um, so we can't go down there. Oh wow, I think I found the edge. The spirit flowers. Oh, there was somewhere that we're supposed to go requests oh shit we're supposed to like be be like fixing things and i'm just like ignoring all that uh hope i'm enjoying the game so far you got some features that you didn't get in your playthrough and wanting to replay it now that all the updates are released yeah i um when i heard that this game was getting a big update that's when i was like all right now is the time to pick it up uh i'm definitely enjoying it my uh I, I love the story and the characters. The writing, even though it's got some weird vocab, I think is really good. Um, I'm I'm impressed with it. I was worried I was gonna be bored with it because I'm not super into like the base building kind of stuff, but I'm having a good time. So these things are all calling for like weird stuff that I just don't have. Maple plank, we can do that. Maple plank, nebula fabric. Okay. Garlic, have a great dinner. Thanks for hanging out. See you later. If I don't if I don't catch you before Thursday, uh, good luck on your interview. So let's make some... I know we need aluminum. Oh yeah, this one was kind of weird to make.
Only five. Wow, I didn't realize it was a one to one. That's kind of not not good enough. Uh -huh. The lack of food on this vessel. Uh -huh. What do we got? We got nebula fiber. Let's just make all of it. Ugh, stretch, stretch, stretch. You need to move. You're in the way. Oh, thank you. Orc, what's next on your, uh, on, on the docket? I guess you have to play getting over it, right? have fun with it. Do you have to finish it? That's... That is the important question. Do you ha just have to do one stream, or do you have to completely finish the game? He did spend 100,000 points, but oh, gosh. If you finish getting over it, how will you ever get over it again? <laughs> I, um... I mean, I've picked it up a couple of times and give, given it a couple of, like, solid attempts. And I, I... When I play it now, it's just when I am not in the mood to play anything specific and just want a, want a good laugh. But, oh my god. That game is hard. I, I don't know what the average amount of time is to actually complete it. I'm curious, though. Oh, I don't know if I can... But I'm glad you liked it inside. When you said, like, what was it? You said, like, 8 out of 10? I was like, dang, that's awesome. I was glad you enjoyed it so much. Smurfy, you're playing CrossCode? DLC came out for Switch. Oh, cool. WarioWare. Get it together. I still haven't picked up CrossCode, but um, it looks fun. The game was worth many dirty puns. <laughs> what do you mean, worth? That was like a perk. And you know it, don't lie. Smurfy, um, uh, Smurfy, the, uh, it was inside, is what Orc's talking about. Um, like, the title of his stream was Finishing Up Inside. Which, of course, became a running joke. I know we're gonna need more aluminum, so we'll go back here. Understood the game after watching the videos. Yeah, yeah, it, it having it just spell out some of the connections that were made, like, they weren't obvious at all. Um, you had to, like, go back and kind of, like, look at things again and re-examine the whole, the whole thing, like, the progression. Like, why is this little boy sneaking into this huge corporation? Mark thought you were spoiling when you were just wincing at his observations one too many times. <laughs> that, that tracks, that tracks. Didn't even notice you made the- I, I'm sure you didn't notice, but you played into it once it was there. You made a pun 
yourself this past year, don't know if you shared it. What do you say when you see a skateboard successfully jump on their board after many failed attempt? My Nolly. That's that's a good one. That's a good one. That would make Dave sigh. He would he would sigh heavily. He would say, for fuck's sake. Or, or I I don't know if I can do a fake British accent. For fuck's sake. What are you doing? You have deja vu. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> and, and call out Neo. S stop breaking the thing. I I I can't decide if I like that the penalty for missing this is time. <laughs> I have to like actually watch it and not read chat when I'm trying to do this. Speaking of Matrix, any hype for the new movie about an important person? About being an important person means being an actor. <laughs> Sounds about right. I'm excited for it. I am excited for it. Um, I hope that it's gonna be meta as fuck. And I know there's some like theories going around, but I, I have a hunch it's gonna be like the Matrix within the Matrix or some bullshit. And I just like I'm here for that. Alright, I'm not gonna actually plant aluminum. What am I gonna plant? I'll just plant some iron. Maybe a couple trees. Good enough. Because I think if I plant aluminum, I won't have enough to do some of the quests. Yes, I'm done. See you later. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh god damn it. Wait, did I lose all the aluminum? No. Oh no, okay, all right. I'll read I'll read your your message in a second. Apparently, if I fuck this up, it's it's real bad. Oh, that was a reference to the original Matrix. Cypher said, when I'm reinserted into the Matrix, I want to be someone important, you know. And oh, I, I totally forgot about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your joke was wasted on me. Uh, which is a theory you agree with about the movie already. Given what we see. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm definitely, like... It's also... It's forever gonna be... A nearly impossible task for a... Um... A franchise to, like, reboot something like that. Like, it's always gonna hit controversy, like... Um... A good example would be, like, Blade Runner, right? Cool. I guess we d really don't need Gwen's house there anymore, but it's there as a memorial. Ash plank. Cotton fabric. Oak plank. Oak plank and cotton fabric. That one's next. Oh, 
We'll do the cotton fabric first. I so all right. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I liked I liked the newer Blade Runner better than the first one. Um, but then again, I watched. So I, I never saw either one until this year, and I watched the first one, and then immediately watched the second one, like a day or two later. And I was just like, the second one is just like a better produced movie, I like the story better, I like the characters better. But, uh, I've heard that that's, that is a controversial thing. And then it was oak that we need. Uh, this I don't think. It's a reboot entirely. I think it's a story. The two Wach Wachowski brother, former brothers, now sisters, had in mind for a while. Uh, and thought it was a good time to present it. Especially... Um, in one of them's memory. Gotcha. I don't know too much about the development of it, to be honest. I just kind of heard it was happening. I was like, oh, cool. For as much as I talk about movies, I don't always know all that much. Or I'd say I often don't know that much about the production of them. I did watch a really cool uh, analysis video comparing the first Suicide Squad to the second one and basically explaining why the first one sucked and the second one was awesome. Which... It's kind of a different topic, but... Need to get get out there and go to more movie, uh, more trivia nights. More, No more than you, you think you should. Maybe able to help teams. I, so I've actually... I did a trivia night once during COVID, and it was for Pixar. Um, and it was really fun. Uh, some of the questions that they asked were insane that like no one would know or like there was a harry potter one that i didn't go to but my friends who did the trivia more than i did they did do that one and they went to what was it it was harry potter and like one of the questions was like which number file did harry find this information from during this scene like what was the number of the file and i was like that's not a reasonable thing to know. <laughs> how, do, uh, how do they do trivia nights? It's usually paper and you all work together. It was virtual because um, it was during uh, like during the peak of COVID. So it was over like Zoom and then we would use breakout rooms. So the question would be asked by the organizer and they would split everyone off into their teams into individual breakout rooms. And it was all pre-planned, so it would happen pretty instantaneously. And then you'd have your, like, two minutes or whatever to discuss with your teammates. Um, and then they would bring you back to the main room and you'd present your answer. Or, or they would just give you the next question, because you would fill out the answers into a question sheet in, like, a Google Forms. And then uh, they would have someone review the answers and, and all that. I'd say I'd say it was very well organized, but it was like so well organized that it felt more like a work meeting than a uh, a casual like have fun hangout kind of thing. Like you had no time to casually chit chat. It was all just like questions and answers.
Yeah, no chit chat. I think that was like the one one shortcoming. Where do we go next? Like we're definitely missing stuff. We could go to that one at the bottom because it has several Oh wait. N the shrine? No, that's just like the one of the rock shrines, right? Not like one of the ability shrines. We can't get in there yet. Blueprint chest. A lot of question marks there, too. I guess let's go there. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Smurfy. But also, like, because it was, like, a virtual thing, anyone that I met on there would not be in the same state that I was either. So it wasn't like you would meet people and then have potential of hanging out with them later. Unless it was, you know, virtually. Oh, I didn't wake anybody up. I'm looking forward to, like, more social things now that, like... I don't want to say that COVID's behind us because it's not. It's... Delta is still scary. You know. Um, but... It seems... It seems like we're getting close. I already did that. Can I- oh, oh, maybe I can make the, uh, do the upgrade that I want to do now. Or a different one, maybe? Let's see. I wish I could pin recipes or, like, need to do things. That would be really cool. Maple plank and we don't have enough bright jelly. Ash plank, we don't have ash yet. Oh, we can do this one. Heck yeah. Can't do zinc yet either. Sweet. Again with the glass. All right, cool. We did a couple things. I know you need fried chicken. Have something for me. I baked something for the crew. <gasps> apple pie. Oh, that's so exciting. Y'all, I love apple pie. I can't wait. I like to make apple crumble. Mm -hmm. oh. um, that's like my favorite in the fall season is apple crumble with oats and walnuts. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. Definitely need to find more stuff to do. Your social thing at the moment is uh, nerdy, but we all nerds here. Yeah. Um... Not good at going to bars and clubs. Oh, me neither. Seeking stuff to do that will involve activities. Yeah, the only thing that I'm really doing right now is, like, working out or dance. Um, that sometimes is somewhat social. So, like, my, my dance classes have a strong community aspect to them, so it's pretty easy to, like, start chatting with people if you want. Um, and, uh, the workouts that I'm doing are climbing, like I've mentioned like a million times, I've started climbing. Um, and that has a really strong social aspect to it too. People will work together a lot. So a couple of times I've like been sitting there tired resting or whatever and someone's sitting and tired resting next to me and I'm like, 
can I ask, like, I'm like, I'm sorry, can I ask you, like, a total noob question? And then, like, I have, I ask them whatever it is that was on my mind. Um, and sometimes they just, like, answer the question and they go do their own thing. But other times they'll, like, stick around and chat or um, do some, like, introductions. I, I'm always torn because, like, in that setting, I don't want to interrupt people. Uh, but I also do want to try to, like, talk and all that. It's like a delicate balance. You kind of have to gauge what that person is doing, too, I think. Like, if they look like they're focused, you don't want to go and interrupt them. But if they're, like, sitting and resting and kind of in the middle of it, I think it's, uh... Not awful. Seems like workouts, even climbing, is something not as social, even though others are around. Yeah, it's, it's like, it can be a very solo activity, for sure. And I'm still pretty new to it, so maybe, like, in two months, I'll think about that same thing and be like, Oh god, I was that person, oh my god. <laughs> I think this way there was like, yeah, this that I can't get up yet. So I actually, now that I'm remembering that I can't go up there, I, I don't know if I can actually do anything here yet. Mm. I'll try going up here anyways, but I'm pretty sure that I can't make any more progress on this island. Right, and then there's like this hidden thing that broke my brain. Because over here, there's the fan, right? Uh, maybe not here. Maybe it's further down. But yeah, like, going to social gatherings. I've started doing brunch. I've been doing brunch occasionally. KY okay, and I will get brunch. Um, or we'll have, like... A friend or two over for for dinner um, and I feel like that's the most that I can like emotionally handle right now anything else and I just kind of get overwhelmed <laughs> like I have to relearn how to be social does anyone else feel that like I was always, like, an introverted person, but then with COVID, I was like, oh, no, I'm totally extroverted because now I'm, like, I got I want to stream because I'm, like, bored and feel lonely. And then, uh, yeah, okay, can't do that there. All right. But now I'm in, like, social situations. I'm like, oh, shit, oh, fuck, oh, God. I don't know how to people. I don't, uh, send me back to my cave. <laughs> Also, Ali, hello! Welcome in. How's Spirit Fair? It's going. It's, um... I, I'm feeling a little bit stuck right now. I'm not totally sure where I'm supposed to go. So I'm just kind of exploring, kind of going back to some places I've already been. Your personality is extroverted, but it means you like to be around people rather than alone. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense outgoing to meet people and talk, but generally we'll keep back and quiet uh, if things pick up and don't need to drive anything. That, like, social uh, like, people watching is legit. Oh, 
yeah, Allie, so the, the favorite Pixar movie stemmed from a conversation I was having with Dave earlier about um, if, if you fell in love with a piece of media and then something else happened, something you learned about it, the making of or whatever, like ruined it for you. Um, we were talking about that with like actors and actresses and then I was talking about it with Coco. The Incredibles. S tier. S tier movie. Inside Out? Yeah, Inside Out was really good. Um, I'll have to clip it earlier, but uh, Inside Out, I was saying, has resources. Uh, where am I supposed to go right now? I'm like, I'm so lost. Because I can't go here. I'm pretty sure. We can try, I guess. Where am I? I am here. Pyro, thank you for that lurk. Love The Incredibles because if you've seen all of the side stuff. Um, yeah, there were really good jokes in that. I thought that the political jabs were uh, were amazing. I thought that that was some of the, the best parts of the movie or how it was the commentary on politics. Oh, yeah. That, that was a good... The Violet with the milk in the second movie, that was also really good. There's not a Pixar movie you don't love, Allie. I um, yeah, I think for me it's a toss up between Incredibles and Luca. I really liked Luca, but like Soul was great too. Ah, they're all they're all very good. Except I'm like mad at Coco. I'm mad at Coco because of what they did to that poor woman. But we don't have to go through. We don't have to talk about this again. Allie, what do I do? Allie, help. Allie, tell me where do where, where do I go? What do I do? What do what do I do? Nord Wheeler, is that? Where is that? I wish that I could see the names of everything. Because I don't know where any of these are. You know what? Let's check the ones that are out of bounds first. Nord Wheeler is north. See, I can't get there yet, though, because I need the I need the rock breaking thing. Um, so, like, I can't do that quest. I can't do the other quest for the south one. That one, I can't do this. I don't think. No, I can't make icebreaker. I don't have the. Uh, um, I need flowers. I need a sp specific type of flower. Oh, I need to make the gallery. Oh, fuck. Maybe that's why. <laughs> what's, the, what's the art gallery? I can't make that yet. Where's the art gallery? I don't have glass, so I can't make this. And then what, let me, I'm, I'm accepting hints right now, uh, Smurfy, FYI, that, that is, that's okay. So for this, I need the spirit flower. I don't know what that is. I, I can't, I don't know. I, I assume I just have to explore to get that. Um, Gwen has, yeah, Gwen has passed on. I have the icebreaker. The icebreaker I have.
Really? Oh, you know what? This line is different. I thought that this line was I needed the next. That's okay. There's there's no key on the map, you guys. There's no key for like which lines are which lines. It's not my fault. This is bad game design. It's not my fault. I wasn't even talking about the blue uh, barrier. It was like the line above it, the black dotted line. I assumed that that was the one where you need like the rock breaker. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I do stuff like that a lot in games where I'll just like miss some dumb UI thing and then spend like a whole bunch of time doing like random other crap. <laughs> follow the quest. Yeah, I usually try to. Like, I'll be honest, I'm not trying to do that much side stuff because I I'm I I want to do that organically as it comes up. I don't want to like feel forced to do it. Believe it or not, I did have to teach a few kids playing cross code the cardinal directions. Oh, that's funny. All right, let's go water our plants. It's two hundred dollars. What comes in the collector's edition? I assume I assume it comes with an art book. It comes with the physical copy of the game. Uh, it probably comes with a guide. Maybe a... Uh, the vinyl? For the soundtrack? What's in it? You can better get a daffodil plush. Yes, that would make it worth it. Um, there's very few games that I feel like... I should get a collector's edition for. Um, I was really tempted to get it for Hyperlight Drifter, and I ended up just getting the art book. Which, in hindsight, I don't I don't regret getting it, but I definitely was expecting it to be different than it is. Um, and I'm just I'm not going to go back to it as often as I was hoping. But that's okay. I just didn't like it as much as I thought I would. The biggest ad is a paper lantern of the stars and constellations. Yeah. And the light in the shape of the Everlight. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I have to look that up. I'm gonna look that up after the stream. Everybody's unhappy. <laughs> Be happier. Needs a home. That's so... $200, yeah. That is a lot of money. It's a lot of money for, like, one game that you've already played. I don't even like playing full price for the game on its own. the collector's a cross code and and not all games are going to be that expensive either which is an important important note treat for yourself yeah if it's your favorite game like absolutely see for me it's like the art books like i've got i've got the hyper light drifter horizon zero dawn journey last of us art books like some of my all-time favorite games for me it's like i don't know um 
something... I'm trying to think of how I want to say this. The minimalist lifestyle, I think, is... is a very, like... aesthetically pleasing environment to be in, right? Minimalism and, and having everything that you have be... Uh, as like simplified and condensed as possible, maybe curated a little bit. But I prefer to have have a few more things that show my interest and my personality and the things that really bring me joy. Whereas like if I truly lived a minimalist lifestyle, I would not have any of the art books that I have because I wouldn't feel like I could dedicate the space to them. Um, but now when I look at my shelf and I see the names of some of my favorite games, it just like makes me makes me happy. This game is up there for you, Ali. Yeah, I can understand why. I think Spirit Fair is pretty iconic. I've never played a game quite like this one. Um, so I I can see why you say that. I do not live minimally. Mostly about personal personal connection, yeah. Uh, gimme, gimme. I remember I needed the jelly for something. Oh no, I fell. Gimme, 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 gimme! What'd you say? You love your knickknacks and arts and toys? They spark joy? Yeah, I was about to say, I I really like the Marie Kondo method um, of keeping things fresh and relevant in your life. I think that that's a very cool thing. I think it's also a privileged thing. I think that, you know, not everybody can select only the things that they love out of their wardrobe, for example, because not everybody can, uh, you know, have either the ability to replace things or have the, the volume to select from, right? Obviously, there's a little bit of classism there. Um, classes, I feel like that's extreme. Calling it classism, I, th I think, is a little overboard, but it, it is a privilege. It is a privilege. Um, I, f I, I don't know. I feel like if I don't say stuff like that, it can easily be misinterpreted. Um, but I do also know that I am someone who holds on to things because I might need them someday. Like this shirt that doesn't fit, that's worn out, but I, I, don't, I loved that shirt when it was new, therefore I can't get rid of it, even though I'm never gonna wear it again. It's... Now I've got five of those that I can't wear, and they just take up a lot of space. And... At a point, are they still making me happy by just having them? Or... Would it be better to put the other things that I actually do wear front and center? So, I, I don't know. I, I got a little tangent either without really having much to say about it. But I, I do really like that way of viewing the things that you own and appreciating the things that you own. Uh, but that being said, I have watched the new series. Uh, she hasn't, it's called Sparking Joy um, on Netflix, and it only has three episodes. And I'm not sure if that is 
Um, I'm not sure if that's like all there's gonna be. I hope there's gonna be more, but it focuses more on like small businesses, which I thought was odd. Um, I honestly didn't like it that much. I, ex I I really liked how it focused on this kind of like middle class American uh, families or, or I, 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 I don't know, like kind of like how queer I did. I would kill for some new queer eye. I know there was something that needed... Yeah. We can upgrade the field if we make some maple, maple planks. I know we just arrived. Maybe we'll do that after. Maple planks, you guys. Remember. Maple planks. We need them. New area unlocked. I did not read it. I <laughs> did not read the name of it. That's okay. I like that we're getting new biomes, though. I think that's really cool. But I hope there's going to be more of the Sparking Joy show, and I hope that it changes things up a little bit. I hope they go in some other directions. How invigorating. Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. The smell of the crisp winter air and these colors. Why, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. I'll sell some cherries. Oh man, the fire glow is worth a lot. Sell some iron. Okay. Uh, anything I can buy that's maybe new? A score to a song that's perfect for when the leaves are falling. I feel like I'm gonna need this. I'm just gonna buy it. Oh, chicken! Get a couple of those. Celery. Pear! Oh my god, it's so expensive. What the fuck? Uh, am I gonna need a second orchard? I'll just get one. The metal rope. I know I need this, too. I'll just buy a couple. What? Whatever. She always move your arms when it's cold outside, like this. Look! I'm talking and moving. I'm multitasking like a champ. No one can stop me. <laughs> oh, what a good sheep. Is there anything in here? Oh, look at that! Is that an ancient wooden elevator? What a wonderful construction! I didn't think I'd ever see one with my open eye- with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that... as Ansgar. There we go. I- my brain, like, just flipped there. I was like reading it as A S N G A R. That that that, that tripped me up. Uh, to get away from Her uh, Harold's gang, a treacherous and icy cage that climbed claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, uh, as Angsgar managed to escape with countless sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me. I'm swooning just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for the ice patches. I hope I learn a new ability up here. Can't, can't reach it. 
Yes! Gimme! Gimme, 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 gimme! Finally! Sword wielder is prime Alice. White leaves! I love the cat! <laughs> I'm all hitting my, hitting my plants. Oh, I'm so excited. White leaves! Oh, and the statue here with the brush uh, bushes ever white, just as I pictured it. How uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrines where Ansgar offered sapphires to Agneta? Agneta? She swoons so much here. I need to remember to, like, look at the characters in between reading. I would have uh, stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians. For the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty, but for a second. How romantic. And then she confessed her love, and then they... Well, you know what happened next. Although in my mind it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ansgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. Aw, that's cute. That was really cute. I don't think I know you. I think my partner wouldn't like it if I was talking to a strange child. Don't talk to me again, please. Or if you do, do it discreetly. Wish I could find my keys. Who invented winter? Freezing my feet out here. I like when they're just like, get away from me! <laughs> this place. Oh, and it's... Uh, oh, and this dark, windy spot, just like scaffolding where Ansgar and Harold dueled. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly, and the clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs, and the whistling of policemen. Even smoke reminds me of the train station below. And then, glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like knife. And just as Ansgar has adeptly disarmed his opponent, the treacherous Agnita emerged and stabs Ansgar in the back. Of course, how could Ansgar know that she was the half-niece of cr uh, Cruel Harold? The bleeding Ansgar advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And he reaches to the edge, and he glances back, and he finds that he is cornered by his opponent. With nowhere to go, they know it is a matter of time. Before they can deliver him to the Duke Frederick, Ansgar, long and strange twin brother and usurper of the family title, but Ansgar, elegant to his last breath, raises his hand in farewell, smiles softly, and, just as he is engulfed by smoke from the locomotive below, ouch. Oh, what? Oh, Stella, no, I'm all right, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just a little tired. Let's go back home, okay? Just. Let's go. This game, you guys. <laughs> this old lady reading her romance novels is like me as a kid questioning my mom reading them and seeing the covers. Very confused. <laughs> uh, I didn't... I didn't read how to do this. I thought it was X. On my switch controller. <gasps> oh, uh huh. Can they only go one way? It's so far. Oof. Wait, I'm. Uh, I'm tired. Would you? Would you mind helping an old lady back to the tender? Allie jumping off. Have a great night, Allie. I'll catch you later. Take it easy. Oh, just hold up. Okay. Do that momentarily. You made it. Good job. Good job, Alice. I love that name. It makes me think of my, my great aunt. There we go, got him. Locked. Bullshit, bullshit. You 
Good day, sir, to the goat. Another apple. Oh, apple seed. That's exciting. Oh, what? Oh. Ow. I didn't want to. Oh, I get it. I have to, like, turn around or something. supposed to do anything with that yet. <laughs> Nothing down here. Nothing to see here. Alright, back we go. We're going back. Ugh, let me up. Let me up! Game's making me work for it. All right. Is this locked? <gasps> Wait, no. I've been in here. There was nothing here. Okay. Okay. I'll go back to the ship. Oh, I'm so glad that I that that uh that y'all helped me figure out how to get here. Even though it was just click on it. Just just fucking go. You can go. Just go. <laughs> that was not the attitude that any of you put off. But that's how I felt. Not, not because of my own inability to look at a map. Having nothing to do with, uh, with, with, uh, your, your, y'all's help, to be clear. have I not gone because I didn't realize that it was in bounds? Here I still can't go. Maybe I can go here? Can't go south yet. Okay, perfect. Cool, thank you. Uh, let's see. Northwest? Gustav? Or, uh... It's Masha. Look at the tasks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, I've got a letter! I've got a letter! Letter! A letter from Albert. Special Funtacular giveaway. For a special time, you're running a special promotion. Enclosed as a special blueprint. Oh, cool. We can build a blue or build a zip line on the ship now, I guess. Oh, and I can progress a different quest now. Hold up. We need the fried chicken. Yeah, Alice will definitely have more stuff to do, but um I can also, now with the chicken, I can do the quest for, for the frog. What's his name? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, yeah, the fried chicken for the frog. Frog legs, I would do it. I would absolutely serve him frog legs. If given the opportunity at any point, I will do it. I'll, I will never get tired of the face that the sheep makes. That will always be magical to me. <laughs> Ray's confirmed to be Hannibal. <laughs> oh no. I'm a monster. A minute. I wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all, but I can't keep following you around like that. This is too tiring. And besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just, has anyone told you how smothering you can be? Please, leave me some space now, will you? I'm sorry. Be happier. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that's grilled chicken. Hold up. Hold up. Where's the recipe I need? This is why I got a couple pieces of chicken. Untainted wisdom. How are you? Welcome in. Fried chicken. Fat? What? I don't have fat. God. Well, I, God damn it. Some recipe. I mean, that makes sense, but also. <laughs> I'm gonna feed him his disappointing chicken. Gift from our collection. Appreciate it. Sell those promptly. I'm gonna need to get some more seeds. Alright, well. Let's see where else I can go. You know what? Let's go back. Let's go here. And we'll stop. We'll do some... Oh, I did the wrong button. That's whatever. It's fine. Really care about watering those so much right now either. And now I need to remind myself. Oh yeah, the zipline. Oh, I can make the zipline now. That's cool. The art gallery. Cotton thread and glass. Yeah. Nebula thread. I can get nebula thread. Oh, we can make the windmill now. I don't know. I might want to save the aluminum, though, because the aluminum ingots are so hard to get. I might want to wait to make that. I don't know if I need the wi the uh, windmill for anything, like any quest-related things. We will go see our sassy walrus, though. Give me them seeds. Cotton seed. Excellent. Just what was needed. Is that a new type of clam on the boat? Oyster? Guess not. Untainted, how are you doing tonight, though? I hope everything's good. Let's 
stretching. My shoulders are so sore from climbing still. Also, it's almost Wednesday, which means we're almost halfway through the week. Oh no! You're stuck. He's just practicing hovering. He's on a treadmill. It's like the bird version of a treadmill. We've heard a lot of the, those, um, a lot of those text options before, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving them too much thought. Let's do some fishing, though, because we are in a, a relatively new area. We haven't been here very much. I keep doing that. I always, like, I'm reeling in the fish, and then I look over at chat, and I miss it, and I ruin it. That's, I do that way too much. Especially when we get like here, I'm like, oh yeah, no, I got it. I don't have to focus as hard. But that would be incorrect. salmon. I have been cooking with fish a lot more than like ever before in my life. And like salmon is what I get to treat myself. Because salmon's kind of a little, you know, it's fancy. It's, it's kind of expensive. And I can't always justify it. But um, usually I'm doing like tilapia. Just like the dirt fish of the ocean floor. But um, <laughs> salmon is so good. Can I talk to you? You might have noticed, but Alice, well, she seems to have uh, have some trouble getting around, doesn't she? I think she could... I, I don't think she could use ladders anymore. I'm not sure she'd tell you, but I think she's stuck up there. Maybe you could move her house down to deck level? I'm sure that would help her. Oh, we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that before anything else, actually. Because <laughs> I think this is her house. Alright, first we're gonna put it even higher up. Because we have to get everything out of the way first. Or we can move anything. This might be a fair amount of reorganizing. It took me so long to make this perfect! This house needs to move the deck has gotten so many people. Favorite thing about maneuvering things around comes later. Ooh, okay. I'm curious. Um, I'm gonna leave that there. I just, I really like to have all of the houses, like, up out of the way. And have all of the... All the things 
that I actively need close together. It's ugly, but it's it's fine. They even had to patch in some dialogue for what you had to go through. Oh no. Oh, I'm very curious. I don't like that the sheep aren't together. I'm gonna have to fix that later. Oh, hello, it's you. Have you seen Eugene? He must be in the garage again. When you see him, could you ask him to bring me my old woolly? It's getting a bit chilly in here. Oh. It begins. Oh no. Yeah, Eugene. I, I was like, I don't recognize that name either. Mm -hmm. What do you want? Get on with it already. Oh, I don't have enough for the next. I can claim this reward. Oh, wow. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You're amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, not keeping you. Go. Oh, how wonderful. You've pillaged almost all of the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer. Show us your ways. Oh, great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. I like Susan. What do we have here? Is that food? Is that a dish? Are you even... Tr are you trying to cook something on that boat of yours? Are you a chef? Do you have any cookbooks? Mm -hmm. The Everlight does everything for me. That's your answer for everything. You're a special kind of people, you spirit fairs. Just because of that Everlight, you think you're so great. You don't know what it is to actually work. Mm -hmm. Why am I even taking my precious time to talk to you? Here it is. Remember, practice makes perfect. Not that you would even know that. Favorite accent someone has ever done for Susan was that really annoying New Yorker personnel secretary. <laughs> Answers to the phone for the Ghostbusters be being a prime example. I can't do it, but I can visualize it and I appreciate it. I'm like really bad with collecting or, or with uh, um, doing voices. It's pretty rare that I do them at all. Um, it's something I want to get better at, but one day at a time, right? What did Alice mean by a woolly, a woolly blanket, a piece of fabric? I should find out and give it to her. Uh, everybody's asleep. I have to go sleep and then wake them up. Sleep. I like that the owl's already up. It's a good touch. Or going to sleep, maybe. Wake up! Everybody wake the fuck up! Wake up! Good morning. Oh. Oh, no. I wasn't trying to hug the cat, but uh, it's very cute. My old legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps get me to the prowl? Yes. I'm not sure where we're going. Yep. 
Y'all, this, this particular character hits me a little hard. Where are we, are we, where are we going? Is this, nope. I think we went the wrong way. It's all right, we're just, we're going on a nice little walk. Probably meant the like bow of the ship, the Because we can't go up, I don't think. Good morning! Hydrate! Thanks for the hydrate, Marcus. Hope you're doing well. Where's wool? Here we go. Oh, hello, how are you? What is that? A blanket for me? I used to have a woolen blanket I liked very much. I must have misplaced it. Well, thank you. That's very nice of you. How are the... How's the fair... fairing of spirits? It's... it's good. This game is really just lovely. It, um... It's a really sweet, sweet game. Very nice. It's it's very somber, right? It's like it touches on a lot of topics about death and um, I am enjoying it a lot. I I know you need the fried chicken. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Did I try to burn the boat down? I did. I tried. I, I definitely did. Uh, it didn't work. Which was quite a disappointment. Um. A lobster roll. Do I... I want to do it. I want to do the lobster roll. Where to next? Walk Alice back to the house in the evening. Zool's house by adding a picture frame. I know that's not Azul's house, but which one is? Here, here we go. Yeah, we can't do that yet. time is it? It's about 9.45 almost. And I think I did... I Oh, maple planks. Yeah, I was gonna do this. I'll, I'll upgrade that, and then I'm probably going to uh, end for today. Where is the sawmill anyways? Where did I move it to? Here it is. So far away. Marcus, I'm excited to watch Orc play Getting Over It. That's going to be fun. Eventually, I want to finish it, but like, 
It is not an easy game. I question if I'd be able to. He's not the type to rage. That's a good point. You're right. He won't rage. He'll get frustrated, but it'll be like a quiet frustration, maybe. Unless he plays it up for stream, which could also be true. There's no finishing it unless you play days and day days in, days out. Yeah. I I mean I Yeah. That's probably true. I wonder what the average length of playtime is for that game. Or or like to complete it. Like how long does it take to beat? For most people. Got a letter. Uh, da -da. Rice pudding. We can prove the field now. Do the sunflowers also. We Alright. I think this is a good place to stop for tonight. I'm like running out of conversation in me. We had many rants today about Pixar and movies and, and media that we loved, used to love, and then was let down. Yeah, speed run, but that doesn't account for all the time that, like, it took someone to play it. That's not their average time to beat, right? Uh, I'm talking about the number of hours that they had to grind to be able to do it that first time. Because, cause, yeah, speed run, and that, that's different. Uh, I'm going to look it up. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's see. Main plus extras is about 10 hours on average. And I've played it for about four hours and I've gotten about halfway, so that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> there are freaks out there, you never know. Just beat it on the first try. Never went back. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Smurfy, thanks for hanging out. Untainted Wisdom, thanks for stopping in. Allie, Garlic was here earlier. Um, Marcus, thanks for thanks for stopping by at the end here. I uh, I think I'm gonna drop a raid and go have have a snack before bed. Maybe do maybe I don't know. I, I'm gonna veg out. I'm just gonna put on some movie and just like eat dessert like a gremlin. That's that's my plan for the night. Um, but I really appreciate y'all being here. So thank you.